Sorry, two forty fans. I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Shot show twenty twenty. Hey everybody, Brandon here with Galloway Precision. So we, as you all know, are Sorry USA's custom shop. They invited us out this year. What we did is we brought with us a lot of the gunfighter packages that we're doing currently. We've got the B6, we've got the K245. What we had NAG Industries do, our sister company, is laser engrave one side so you can get a feel of what the custom laser engraving can do and leave the other side so you can feel stock. Along with that, we went ahead and refinished it and a crushed orchid Cerakote, did the internal gunfighter package and milled it for a Venom or a uh, Burris Fast Fire. Uh, next, we've got the K245. I love this thing. We call this the paint. Stock, this is 14 plus one rounds of 45. Right now, it's retailing for 399. This is an all steel gun. What we did is we had NAG laser engrave the Special Forces patch because RJ at SAR USA and Eric Heine, the president of NAG Industries, both have a brother in that unit. So along with that, we did the Warfighter package on this. We get a nice standard seven pound double action and a nice crisp, clean two and a half pound hold on single. Also is our plus two extension. So then it gives you 16 plus one rounds of the Lord's caliber. So this isn't so much a carry gun. This is a boxing match right here. All right, next we have the B6C. A lot of women are gravitating towards this gun. It's very, very lightweight, feels good in the hand, but doesn't have a heavy recoil impulse. We had Dag Industries do the diamond plate on this side, refinished it in rose gold. We added a pre and post travel stop as part of the gunfighter package to the trigger. Uh, our spring kit is installed. Uh, the polished internals are inside. I work the hammer and the sear, and then we add a little bit of character to the top, but it's not just character. What we do instead of using a ball mill that'll basically turn your hand to a cheese grater, we want a more industrial friendly, nice tight look, but doesn't tear up the skin. Got enough force that it'll grab the skin, but it's not gonna hurt. Next we have what I wanted to do, one sleeper pistol. This is fast becoming my favorite Paul Armour hammer fire gun that they do. This is the Combat Master 9. Looks like every other Combat Master that's on display right now, the difference is this has the gunfighter package installed. Gunfighter package is 120 and you pay shipping both ways. Gun comes in, first thing I do, strip it. We take everything apart, we come in, we polish the trigger bar, tops and sides, any type of friction point, we go ahead and polish up. I work the hammer, the sear, we work the trigger, add the pre and post travel stops, I install the spring kit, and again, you get about a six, seven pound double action and about a two and a half pound to three pound single action. This is going to be a great, great pistol. A lot of you are really gonna like it. And the wonderful thing about the CM9 is its slide interchanges with the B6. So one of the things we're gonna be working on with SAR USA is getting this particular slide in bulk so that we can add longer optics and you'll be able to swap this slide with that one. The last, but not least, the flagship of the company, the SAR-9 Striker Fired Pistol. This is our Gunfighter Edition. This is not the Race Edition. As you can see, the first prototype Arminus Trigger is in there in aluminum. All right, so we will now be producing both in the carbon fiber uh, filled ballistic nylon with fiberglass fill Arminus. We will also be offering the aluminum Arminus, as well as the standard Gunfighter package. We had the steel, stainless steel barrel polished. I went in, worked in trigger, and then we sent the frame and the slide to our sister company, Nag Industries, who did all the laser engraving for us. Uh, what's great about these patterns is they're nice and soft to the skin, but add enough grit that you're not gonna drop it in competition, or let's be honest, in a self-defense situation, blood, very sticky, it's very slick you're not going to lose your grip. You're going to maintain control of your weapon. And we also have, as you've all already seen, our race slide. Now we've gone over this before. We move, remove about four ounces of material, 3.9 to be exact, and add a Venom, a Burris, whichever optic you want. But what nobody has seen yet is the new stainless steel guide rod. This is the prototype. These are going into production when we get back. Tall stainless steel. It has a new cap on the end that will fit perfectly inside the SAR. And as 
with all our, of our other guide rods, there will be a competition carry pack so that you can tune the springs to your particular loads on your particular pistol. So we want to thank C4 Defense for stopping by. Bye, bye, whatever. It's early. I haven't had enough coffee. You guys are just going to have to bear with me. <laughs> it's great to see him. We've been trying to get together for a while. He literally lives one county over. So expect to see a lot more videos between the two of us in the future. Uh, we're going to have him out to the shop, get some custom Kydex made for him. We're going to see if we can't get out there and run some drills with him. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking it out. Be sure to go by GallowayPrecision.com for your SAR USA parts. And back to you, Sarge. Well, thanks, Brandon, for taking the time. Have a great day. Good luck. 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 Good luck.